Remember the show Wild Kingdom? Yeah, a little up close nature for some North Bay neighbors. You're looking at this big dude. He is a mountain lion roaming in a backyard in Petaluma. KPIX 5 reporter Wilson Walker live with the homeowner's reaction. This is a big cat. Isn't that incredible? That video is knockout, isn't it? All right, the thing was last or first spotted, I guess, late last night around Highway 101. The most recent sighting, they think, late this morning after it showed up in that video, is up towards the hills in the open space, which of course is a good direction for that animal to be going. But boy, in the interim, did it make an impression in this neighborhood? Yeah, it was it was amazing, you know. And like I said, my wife saw it initially out in the street from the window. And thought it was a giant dog and called 911 instantly. Seeing the cat wander off down the street was the first surprise. Then Joe Luchak checked his home security camera and there it was, strolling through his backyard. It looked like he was going to go out the gate, but the gate was shut. So he came walking this way and he went down the side of the house and climbed over the fence. Listen, and you'll hear it go over that fence. Yeah, it's both beautiful and scary, right? Because they are amazing creatures. They are beautiful. But at the same time, you know, we know innately that a mountain lion is a dangerous creature, right? Ken Polly is with California Fish and Wildlife, which is working with local law enforcement in case the animal resurfaces. He says sightings this close to open space are not uncommon, especially in the summer months. It, it's just that time of year. Uh, this is the time of year where young males, young male mountain lions, are pushed out by their mothers and they're starting to find new territory. And for a mountain lion, it's not easy to find new territory. It, when I walked around here, the back was pretty much about like right there. So, I mean, it was huge. It was Luchak can cat. barely believe what walked through here or that he caught it so clearly. He says the visit was a bit of a scare and a thrill. Intensely beautiful, you know, so I sent the video around just in hopes that people would see it and realize that mountain lions are out there and and we have to be aware. I've lived here for 20 years and never seen one, always wanted to see one, but lo and behold, I had one in my backyard and out front. Intensely beautiful. Well put, sir. Now, a lot of neighbors uh, sort of offhand when we were talking about this mentioned the drought as a possible cause. I ran that by Fish and Wildlife. They say, look, it's kind of impossible to draw a direct line with, with sort of an anecdotal instance like this. But they they do acknowledge that that you know those, those animals are looking for habitat. We've had a lot of wildfires and the drought is certainly affecting the landscape. So, yeah, maybe it's a bit more challenging for a young male that's got to find a, a fresh spot of his own to find good Good territory when the land is so affected by things like that. So you know, hard to say. Maybe at the end of the season they'll have better evidence as to how how, how wildlife is really responding to the drought. But mm -hmm. you know, we are close to open space. It is not impossible for an animal to get down into this neighborhood. And holy cow, is that video incredible, Ken? <laughs> yeah, I, I I love the homeowner's attitude. It is a magnificent animal. Just not sure I want it in my backyard. Beautiful. All right, Wilson. Thank you. Yeah.